Hey guys, Super W Kid here. It's Cowboy Robin. Mm-hmm. Okay, my dad. And this is my cool son. Mm-hmm. We have something to show you, Super W. Mm-hmm. My coin collection. Uh -huh. See, Super W has been collecting coins here recently, and he's just gotten started over the last month or so. I used to collect coins. Huh. Well, over a month, probably. Probably over a month. Yeah. Um, we'll start with that one right there, Wes. Not my oldest one. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll start with actually my half penny. That is a half penny, I believe. From, from, from 1937. From 1937, a half penny. I want to say that's probably from... Well, you need, you're, it's not in the camera. You there? A half penny from 1937. Yeah. Okay. And this is um my V nickel. They're that they're actually called a oh they're actually called a Vivery dollar. A Liberty Liberty nickel. Oh, Vivery nickel. Mm -hmm. Vivery nickel. Yeah, a lot of people call them V nickels too because in the back yeah. it's got a V. Yeah, C to V. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, they ran those. Then after that, the Buffalo Nickels came out. Uh -huh. It's from 1899. It's very old and pretty uh -huh. good condition for the year. Uh huh. Again, not something you find in your change every day. Well, it's rare to find them in your change. Yeah, we'll show that one. Okay, and I forgot to show you both of the sides. There's this side with the boat and. The, the the like there's like a present or something on this side. Yeah, it's a half penny. That's something uh -huh. we don't have in this country. Yeah, it's pretty cool find though. Uh huh. I got it from a coin collector. All these I've got, but pretty much from a coin collector. Some of them are my dad's. Mhm. Mm but some of these, he put got from a coin collector. Yeah, I before did. that. Yeah, a lot of these coins I had too growing up, but again I had to get them from mm -hmm. coin collectors because a lot of them you can't just find. And your change every day. Yeah. It's hard to find a hundred year old nickel. That's oh, really cool. I'm not showing you that one yet. Um, this is a 1940 S. Um, wheat penny? Yeah, wheat penny. Pretty nice okay, shape. Right here. Pretty nice shape, yeah. And this is, if you've never seen the back of a wheat penny, here it is. You probably have. Used to be able to find those in your change yeah. a long time ago, but you might find one every now and then, but it's very yeah. rare too. They're getting less and less common. Oh, uh, like if you have like a big fan of coins, like well, I had a big fan of coins, and I only found three. <laughs> yeah. You want to show that? Um, uh, um, this is my 1940, uh, my 1941. It's a D code. Uh, D. Yeah, it's a and, wheat penny. And I don't need to show you the back again because, well, I'll show you in the shape it is in. It has wheat on the back of it. That's what they call yeah. a wheat penny. All right. Show them your steel penny. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Okay. I don't, I, I don't exactly remember what this centennial is. Centennial quarter, I believe. It's centennial I quarter? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's a better shape. Well, they're both in pretty good shape, but mm -hmm. on the other side, like it's in better shape on both of them. Well, as long as they're kept in plastic like that, the better because it keeps them out of circulation. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you. This it is has a hole in it, so so it isn't so super duper wear. Well, well it still is rare. It says it has a hole in it. It's, it's rare. It's just somebody used it for a necklace at one point. Yeah. It's a buffalo nickel. Yeah. It's a buffalo head nickel, or they call a uh, Indian head nickel. But they had the Liberty nickels. When out the Liberty nickels came out with the buffalo nickels, or proper Indian. name for them, it's the Indian. And there's head the nickel. buffalo on the back of it. And as you can see in the back, it has a buffalo. That's why people nickname it the buffalo nickel. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And this is another one of those, um... Centennial? Yeah, the Centennial Quarters. Okay. Show them your still penny. Not yet. Okay. Okay, and this is a half dollar. Mm -hmm. So this actually isn't all my coin collection. These are just the ones that are in packs like this. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't properly yeah. put the other ones up yet. Yeah. 
Most ones of package are actually my best coins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all these I got from a coin collector. I didn't say that already. And this is another one of those. Um, 1940 F code. Uh -huh. um, no, the F codes. I just found out they're actually not that rare. If they are, if they actually are an F code. Uh, oh, they won't have an elf coat on them. Let's see. Uh, they're actually not that rare. See? It's not yeah, on see there. Yeah, see there's not even on there. So it's not rare because you see those ones more. Mm -hmm. But it's a 1940 wheat penny. I mean, yeah. it's not that often you find that one. Yeah, yeah, so that actually makes it rare. Okay. Oh, looky here. Okay. Look at all this stuff you got here, buddy. So this is my youngest. Um, Newest. New, well, not newest. I got them about all at the same time. It's a 1906 Indian head penny. Yeah. Again, very, very rare. You don't see those anymore. Something else you don't see in your pocket. And I think I forgot to show you guys the back of it. Mm -hmm. Probably need to put it in the light, buddy, so they can see. Yeah. There you go. Make sure it has an Indian head on top. On uh -huh. the front there. And right there. Well, and this is my 1903 um Indian. Yeah, it's 1903. I'm sorry. It's 1903 um Indian head penny. It's, oh, okay, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're moving on to some of the good ones. This is my 19. 1895. Oh yeah, 1895 Indian head penny. Mm -hmm. It's in pretty good shape. They're all in real good shape. Yeah, most of them. Like the oldest one there. My oldest one isn't in the best shape. It's actually pretty good. Oh man, I figured out something. This actually isn't 1887. I believe it is. No, it's actually 18. Uh, it's actually 1887. It's 1887. It's just got wear marks on it, Wesley, a little bit. Oh. It's an 1887. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It's a pretty cool find. Again, something you don't find in your pocket chain. This is the last one. These are pretty rare. It's a steel penny. I made them for one year. Yeah. Now, it, if you find, like, any... Uh, uh, somehow, if you, like... If they have like copper inside them, that makes them wear, I think. Yeah, what it Where if they're made in like 40, 1944 or where, because they accidentally printed some of copper. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was a misprint. It was supposed yeah. to have been steel one year and they accidentally did, a, did them in copper. So you basically would, would you'd use a magnet. And if a magnet picked it up, a 1943 penny, then you know it's pure steel. But if you picked, if you couldn't pick it up, then you know the center is made of copper, so it was a miss. It was a miss, miss stamp. So yeah. it would make it worth a lot more. But that's a still one. We checked this one. It is actually still. Yeah. It's, it's a common. And that's 43. all my coin collection to show all of you guys. It's still a nice collection, though. Yeah. Eh? Look at all those. Mm -hmm. Oh, sir. Wesley. Um. Bye, guys. Toodaloo.